I'm Ben Thomas with an AP News Minute. Two suspects in the stabbing deaths of 10 people in Saskatchewan, Canada, are still at large. Regina Police Chief Evan Bray. There's a lot of anxiety in our province and in our communities. Police have offered no motive, but an Indigenous leader suggests drugs may have been involved. Labor Day weekend has been a wet one in the southeast. National Weather Service lead forecaster Bob Orovec says rainfall has been heavy. Across parts of the southern Appalachians, anywhere from northern Georgia, the upstate of South Carolina, western North Carolina, we've had a lot of totals of five to seven inches. And we do anticipate the potential for additional rainfall, so that's why we're concerned about the potential for flash flooding. We're the only country in the world that's come out of every crisis we ever faced stronger than we went in it. President Biden campaigning in Milwaukee today in a midterm election push. He'll also be stopping in Pittsburgh. And Britain has its next prime minister lined up, the Conservative Party choosing Foreign Secretary Liz Truss. She'll formally succeed Boris Johnson tomorrow. I'm Ben Thomas.